the FDA approved Asai's cancer drug, Halivan, to treat soft tissue cancer. This is the first drug to show survival benefit in liposarcoma. Now, how important is this breakthrough? The FDA approved Asai's drug for treating a rare type of soft tissue cancer. Liposarcoma has no approved treatments. Now, Halivan has been approved for use in patients with the cancer and for those who have received chemo that contains an anthracycline drug. Now, liposarcoma occurs in 12,000 Americans each year. Halivan has shown improvement in survival time, and it has orphan drug status, which gives it a seven-year period of market exclusivity for the indication. It was approved in 2010 for late-stage breast cancer treatment. Halivan is derived from a marine sea sponge. What is the science behind it? The drug was originally derived from a marine sponge called Halichondria okadai. Halivan was initially developed from the sea sponge, but it is now lab manufactured. It's a synthetic form of a chemotherapeutically active compound derived from the sea sponge. The injectable therapy is a microtubule inhibitor, which means it works by inhibiting cancer cell growth. Now, the drug stops the cancer cells from separating into two new cells, and so it slows down the metastasis process responsible for around 90% of all cancer deaths. It is also approved by the FDA for treating advanced breast cancer. There's no doubt that Asai is a mega cap name in pharma. What other important drug announcements were made by the company recently? Halivan approval for soft tissue sarcoma is a win for ASI. Recently, the pharma's oncology drug Lemvima or Lemvatinib received FDA priority review for kidney cancer. The company also submitted a new marketing application for the drug in combination with Everlimus to treat renal cell sarcoma. Last uh, year, Lemvima was approved in the U.S. and Europe to treat some forms of thyroid cancer. And in other ASI updates, it acquired a generic pharmaceutical company in China called Tianyi Biological Pharmaceutical. This move expands ASI's foray into generic pharma and expands its footprint in China. Many big pharma names in Japan are reorganizing their businesses. This comes as the government is calling for the use of generic drugs to help rein in medical spending. And this means big pharma is scrambling to develop new drugs and do away with some non-core operations. ASI has been hit by falling domestic sales for its patent expired dementia and ulcer medications since 2012. And in October of last year, announced plans to merge its gastrointestinal business with a pharmaceutical subsidiary of Ajinomoto.